guys and welcome back to another toy command video so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make some internal wiring up so what i'm needing the internal wiring is for the quad 405 from the speaker terminals to the two main boards either side and what we need is a array of tools to do this we need a soldering iron we need a heat shrink gun, we need heat shrink, we need a drill with a small chuck in it, we need a series of tools, some spade connectors, some electrical cleaner, some silver polish, and most importantly, 10% uh, silver cladded copper wire. So let's get into this video. So a couple of other things uh, I forgot to mention. We need some solder, some silver solder here. Um, and we need a tape measure. So first of all, to do this job, we need to work out how big we need our wire. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it in in uh, one continuous length. Uh, well, two continuous lengths, I should say, and then cut it down to the desired length that I need. Um, so the quad 405 is not very wide. It's only about 13 inches or say 320, 320 mil. Um, so I'm going to need a, I'm going to need a two lengths. Probably if I cut two lengths, make two lengths of 600, that should do enough for what I need. Now I'm using this 0.4 wire here so what we need to do is just to measure one and then once i've got cut one i can just cut loads of them after that uh, we'll go down to about that we don't have to be exact with this we can just cut it and make it slightly bigger you could waste a little bit more wire but it doesn't matter too much to me so we're going to need quite a few lengths of this so what i'll do is i'll cut i'll cut this off camera and then I'll come back and show you the amount of uh, the amount of lengths we need because the internal wiring inside of the quad is very thin and what I'd like to do is to thicken it up and give it a, a thicker gauge so what's going to happen then is it that my speaker cable is going to go into the back of the quad and instead of going into that tiny thin wire that it goes into it's going to go into a slightly thicker wire it won't be the same thickness as the speaker cable but it will be considerably thicker than what's in there already so i've got all the wires cut now 600 long and what we're going to be doing is just individually giving each wire a polish which is going to take a while so i shall show you how to do the first one we're just using some silver polish here okay so we just take our conductor. Now I have got a polisher plate outside that I'd made, but uh, for doing this inside it's easier. So just run a piece of the silver polish up there and then just buff it off gently, rub it through a few times. And then you can see the black coming off, so it proves it's polishing the, the silver. And then once we've polished all the conductors I will then um, twist them all together which I'll show you how to do it so I'll be back after that so I've now polished all of the conductors and now I've bunched them up and I just want to twist them so I can get them in the chuck of the drill okay like so there and this drill is a battery drill with a small chuck on that one so I can get the right, okay, I twisted it the wrong way around when I twisted it so I need to come back the other way that way around there we go that's better Okay, so we need to show you how I'll do it once I get it in there. 
right so we won't pull it up too tight and we're just going to pull this along like so and then we're going to just twist twist the wire together because we want to get it nice and there we go that's one done Okay, so let's just measure the length of that because it would have it would have gone smaller. Right, okay, it's still over six hundred. I I shot it over a bit, so there we have a nice conductor now. Now this works out to around about four mil. I've done ten lengths of zero point four mil, ten percent silver cladded copper wire. So I'm going to make the other one up and then I'll be back soon. So I've now got the two lengths, exactly the same length there. So now what we're going to do is uh, use a bit of this electrical cleaner. Um, just to clean over the wires after because I, I like to I like to give them a bit of a, a good clean after. Touching them with your fingers and that can cause oxidisation on the wire. So what we'll do, we we'll just give it a nice wipe through. Okay, put that one over there. And always good to wash your hands first before you get too, any grease off of your fingers and that. Okay. There we go. So that's done. So the next uh, trick is to insulate it so we're going to use some ptfe tape to insulate this um these i should say just put them up there straighten it out a little bit i don't want it too bended at the moment right so one thing i forgot to say is uh, before we insulate them we need to cut them down because we need four pieces okay so we'll cut them at 300 each about there we can trim them down a bit at the end if, if they're uh, if they're not exactly the same I always like to try to keep the lengths identical so that's pretty good that's pretty good there and we'll do the same with this one take that up there chop that one there Right, okay, so what we need to do now to uh, insulate this, these uh, cables, is this is a, <clears throat> this is a PTFE tape which is used for central heating pipes, so it's a lot thicker. Okay, so we're going to use this, we're going to take it around about there, shoot it over the end a little, keep the end and then we just twist it in our fingers like that. On small amounts, it's really quick and easy to do. Because I'm, I'm overlapping it quite a lot, we only need to put one layer of this on. And then we're going to cover it in heat shrink after. Because I don't want the, the cable itself to get too bulky. Even though I've increased the diameter of the uh, conductor by double than what's inside it already. Okay, so when we come to the end there, just go back on ourselves a bit. And then we'll just cut that off. There we go. Right. So I'm going to do the same to the other four pieces and I'll be back in a second. So I've crimped those ones on. So what I like to do with these uh, spade connectors is to crimp them and solder them. So we're just going to push the wire through and just have the, the wire sticking out very slightly at the end there. If you can see that, it's only lightly. And we just take a pair of our long nose pliers and just... Uh, push down on the connector there onto the spade just to 
just to push that on and then that's nice and tight in there that's not going anywhere you could leave it like that but i like to put a bit of solder on the end just to keep it uh very firm right, let's find our wire snippers wherever they've gone now down here okay just chop a little bit of wire off there okay we're going to just rest that on top of here and then hopefully our soldering iron will be heated up which it is then we're just going to add a tiny bit of solder to that very difficult when you're doing this on your own let's just press something on there like the drill just to push the drill on top of there yeah that's the, that'll keep it in place while i'm soldering otherwise it'll uh we want a little bit i don't want it to go mad only a tiny bit on there just to just to keep it in place there okay that's one um, That's two. So I've just got to um, do these two now. So that's another one and then just the last one i've got to get some more tips ordered for the soldering iron which i've uh, located and i am going to buy a better soldering iron soon because uh, the better the tools you are you have the better the outcome tends to tends to be down onto there perfect right so that's done so let's put the soldering iron out the way now so here we have our four conductors now they've all got red ends on them obviously at the moment so now we've got some heat shrink here which i'll be uh, using different colors so what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, we're going to use a brown and a blue just to indicate what the um, what the different colour wires are. So we've uh, we've got one piece of heat shrink on here now. So we'll just give that a blast in. Okay, so now what we've got to do is we've got to put another piece over the end there because uh, this heat shrink I've run out of heat shrink and I've just picked this one up and it's uh, it's short lengths so that goes over there and then that will just pop over the end of that one there we go and I can now shrink that down There we have one conductor made up. One is this is a speaker terminal, so it's uh, the speaker, the internal speaker cable in a sense. I uh, will do this to the brown one. <laughs> Oops. 
Okay, so we're doing the same here. So that is one channel made up now. So this will be the uh, the red side, okay, of the internals, and that will be the black side. So I shall just do the other two, and then I'll be back in a second. So now we've got the all the internal wiring now with the heat shrink around it, and now we just want to put a bit of heat shrink on each end of the spade connector there. Okay, we can push it up to about there. So hold that away. And that'll keep that nicely sealed up. Do the same to this one. <laughs> So here we have it, uh, three, uh, four I should say, internal speaker cable for the Quad 405 upgrade. Now I know any of you uh, snake oil police out there, it doesn't matter to you, but to us audiophiles that appreciate that every little tweak can improve sound quality, and this wire is extremely good. So I'm using the same wire from the speakers, from inside my speakers, to the speaker cable, and then straight into the amplifier. And this is exactly the same wire I'm using. Uh, although the speaker cable wire is thicker, but this is around about the same thickness as what is inside the speakers. So I think that's it. It's only a, a, a sort of making up of internal wires video so i hope you like this video um so thanks for watching another tweaker man video if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified each time i upload a new video and thank you again for watching guys